Hello student, in this video, we will be learning about introduction. Next topic is, we are going about the receivers and the transmitters. Actually, transmitter means there is one block diagram how the AM transmitter is. Of course, not needed for gate exam, but anyhow, at the end, I will discuss you about the AM transmitter block diagram also. Now, coming to the receiver, this is also important topic for the gate. It is coming for one to two marks regularly in the gate, as well as in ESC examination also, more questions are coming. Of course, from the past three, uh, two years, there is a two marks question is coming in the gate examination, but especially in the 2000s, at least the question paper won't be there without the receiver. The concept is called image frequency. In between some decreases, but from the past two years, the question is coming. What is the receiver, sir? Receiver means it processes the information available in the atmosphere as electromagnetic signal and giving back our original message. Just like take a FM receiver. Take your mobile, turn on FM, turn on the FM app by connecting the headphones. What it will do? It will collect the or it will take the or it will process the information in the atmosphere as electromagnetic signal that is taking, converting voltage and signals and making the process demodulation and giving back your and giving back the original audio signal which transmitted at the FM station. How, the, how it is going at the transmitter, audio signal taken, carrier taken, both are making the mixing and they are radiating through the antenna as electromagnetic signal. Receiver means that electromagnetic signal is taking and making the process, giving one more back your audio signal back. That is the receiver. Now basically, even in the topics also I given only two types of receivers. But another one, small one also there, about that also we'll discuss. So basically I can say we are having three types of receivers are there, whether for AM or FM. So first we will conclude which is the one, the same thing we will use for FM also, only that demodulation and small modifications will be there. Are you following my point? What are the three, three types sir? The first one is crystal receiver, crystal means not the, Quasi crystal. Here the crystal is semiconductor crystal. Germanium or silicon. That point you need to understand. The second one, what we are having is students TRF. TRF means tuned radio frequency receiver. The third one is SHD receiver. Super heterodyne receiver. Why I am writing like this to use the space for introducing the basic points. Anyhow, what are the three types we are having? Crystal, TRF, tuned radio frequency, super heterodyne, SHD, super heterodyne, heterodyne, hetero and homo, there are two words. Homo means the same, hetero means different. So, dining means mixing, heterodyne means mixing of different. What is the mixing of different? You will understand by it. These are the three types we are having. Anyhow, what is the receiver we are using either for AM radio or FM radio is super heterodyne receiver. So what we are having in your mobile SHD receiver chip will be there. Now before going into the before going into the first one of course crystal oscillator is the simplest one. I will introduce you here the standard points for AM broadcasting as well as FM broadcasting. You can also make your notes off of one page, the page off of one side you can keep AM broadcasting, another side you can keep FM broadcasting. So this side I am writing. AM broadcasting. This side I am writing FM broadcasting. So in this one, the first point is, what is the carrier frequency, sir? What is the 
carrier frequency. What is the carrier frequency in AM broadcasting? In the previous day also I told that point. It is of 550 kilo to 1650 kilo. What happened in the FM? You already know about it. You can also see in your radio. What is the carrier? Same, same point. That is the carrier frequency range. Same is one here also. Open your FM app. Then you will understand it is from 88 to 108 megahertz. But a free running, maybe in your app, this side 0.5, this side another 0.5, they might be given. Next, what is the bandwidth of each AM radio? Each AM radio station bandwidth is students, all these are practical values, which is of 10 kilohertz. What is the bandwidth formula in AM? Bandwidth formula is 2FM, which is nothing but 10K, this is fixed. So, what is the maximum frequency considered in AM radio? So, that's why I told F max value is 5 kilo, 5 kilo H. Coming to here, the FM broadcasting, the bandwidth of each and every FM channel is 200 kilo. In this one, we already know, max frequency deviation is FCC standards, Federal Communication, uh, Federation of Communication, uh, FCC standards, Fed, uh, Federal Communication Commission. What is that? Delta F value is 75K. The maximum frequency is 15K. Then what is Delta F by FM? Beta is 5. Remaining 20 is forgot band. Because what is the bandwidth formula? 2 times delta F plus FM, 75 plus 15, 19, 19 2 are 180. So in 200, 180 for that message transmission, remain this side 10, this side 10. That will be for God band. So God band is 20k. Next here, another important point, this will come in the SHD receiver, super heterodyne receiver. What is that is? the intermediate frequency. What is the intermediate frequency value? Intermediate frequency value is 455 kilo H. 455 kilo H is intermediate frequency value. What is the intermediate frequency value? Here is the 10.7 mega H, sir. 10.7 mega H. Are you getting my point? Now for these frequencies, the supporting one will be the, or what is there is ground wave propagation. This point is not that much of important. Ground wave propagation also called surface wave propagation. Coming to here sir, for these frequencies, mega hedges, that is LOS, line of sight propagation, sir. Are you getting my point or not? Here, I can say approximately up to even 1000 kilometers also possible. Here, I can say up to some 20 kilometers means fm is for low frequency uh, sorry fm is for low coverage area am is for high coverage area even here some of the channels also there like delhi f bbc russia these are the channels over the broadcasting over the continents also there but if you see in fm 93.5, 98.3, it will be limited for only a particular city itself. That particular frequency means that channel, what is the, we, are, we are broadcasting in that particular frequency channel that will be limited to in that particular city itself. But in AM, we can cover lots of distance. Now here, coming to two basic points, you need to understand students. All these are the practical values, remember. The first basic point is the clarity of audio signal. 
the clarity of audio signal will be good in fm broadcasting when compared to am broadcasting why the clarity of audio signal is good in fm over the am audio signal is having up to 20 kilo now even after 15 we are having a very less amount of frequencies so that's why we are we are taking up to here 15 so up to 15 means most of the components we are considering in fm broadcasting but in am broadcasting we are considering only up to 5k so that is the main reason the audio signal clarity is good in fm there is a assertion reason type of question regularly they are asking and most of the students will be confusion for that what is that question and in the most of the books also they given wrong what is that assertion is the clarity of audio signal is good in fm when compared to am what is the reason is they given in the questions fm uh, fm signals are less affected by noise when compared to am yes both the statements are exactly correct and the second statement also looking like a correct explanation but the correct explanation is noise but the main reason is in fm we are taking all significant frequency components in am we are not considering and here actually audio signal means 20 to 20k but in fm radio from where to where we are taking is least side 50 maximum is 50 that is a frequency range in the audio signal we are considering in fm radio even 15 the components are there very less amount of information whether you include them or not as a musically untrained people we never feel difference but you can feel the difference of listening the song in am and fm radio 5 and 15 whose difference is there another important point you need to understand here in amplitude modulation or in am broadcasting all frequencies are almost of single use the carrier frequencies almost single use but here we can use multiple number of times so here the number of stations countability will be there limited but here unlimited what is that meaning of that point is students for example you can take your city any of your city for example i am taking the hyderabad in hyderabad 93.5 station is there same at same frequency it will be there in Nagpur, Pune, Bombay coming to down you can get in Kolhapur same will be in Bangalore, Chennai, Vijayawad and Vizak like that same frequency only but all our channels are different all those channels are different because what is a 93.5 station in Hyderabad is different the thing in Nagpur is different, in Pune is different, in Mumbai is different. Are you getting my point or not? But here, what is the meaning is here, even though if you are using same frequency also, no interference to students. Why? Because if I use a 93.5, it will be in and around Hyderabad city only. If you are going in a east side, almost if I am crossing the Ramoji film city, and the west side, almost if I am crossing the BHL, like the in east side, um, Married Pali or uh, ECIL, like uh, this side, you can go for the almost Golconda. You never uh, mean so, you can feel that almost the FM signal will be decreases, strength is decreases because it is limited to that region. So, if it is not available, the same frequency I can also use in another city. But if you come to the AM radio, almost of 1000 kilometers, I am saying students. Means, if I use single frequency in Hyderabad, in and around 1000, we cannot. Let's take uh, another example, not only Hyderabad, if I are inter not interested, another one. For example, let's take the Bangalore. There is a one AM station is there of 8 to 12 kilo H. AM station is at 8 to 12 kilo H. If I use 8 to 12 in Bangalore, in and around 1000 kilometers, I, I cannot use that. If I use, for example, in this classroom, communication is going on. Another subject is also going on in the same classroom, interference. Because both will mix it off. Because both are voice. Then in the radio also, either voice or audio, those will be mixed. So you cannot use. 
So if I use 8 to 12 in uh, Bangalore, where is the next one I had to use after 1000 kilometers? After 1000 kilometers means on the west side, 1000 kilometers means even the Bangalore will be 700 800 kilometers. In the south side, almost Kanyakumari also 700 to 800. In the east side, almost Vijayawada. It is also approximately 700 to 800. Means, if I want to use the same frequency, whether I have to use in Bay of Bengal or Indian Sea or Arabian Sea, I think there is no need of maintaining the channel there. So my intention of saying is, in FM, the carrier frequency reusability will be existed. Carrier frequency reusability. But in AM, not possible. So now we will count the number of stations possible in AM. What is the bandwidth of each channel student? The bandwidth of each channel is 10 kilo. Where to where we are taking our range? The range is taking or the carriers we are taking from 550 kilo to last one is 1650. This is the last one. This is the first one. So can I count the number of stations? Number of stations means I have to take 1655 minus 545. Why I written like that is after 1650 FC plus FM. FM is 5K. This side 5K we are using. This side another 5K we are using. Divided by 10K if we count. Triple one channels will come. Are you getting my point or not? And this triple one is almost of single use. This is without God band. This is without God band. If you are using the God band, another some 95 to 96 channels are possible. But I, there is no particular value for God band here between the channels because we don't have that many number of stations. And further, there is no implementation also in AM because there are better advantages are there in FM. I already shown. And FM is also having a commercial use. So now all broadcasting, even the government channels also going on in FM. Clear?